Human immunodeficiency virus comorbidities. How lipid homeostasis alterations lead to cardiovascular and neurological disorders. Over 37 million people worldwide are infected with human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. The virus replicates by entering immune cells, particularly CD4 plus T cells and macrophages, and multiplying inside them. Once new HIV virions have been produced, they burst out of the host cell to repeat replication, which kills the cell in the process. Due to viral reproduction in the immune cells, the immune systems of people infected with HIV are greatly impacted and they become susceptible to additional diseases. Antiretroviral drugs allow those living with HIV infection to live long, healthy lives. But unfortunately, they still have a high risk of comorbidities. These are ailments that are not caused by a damaged immune system, but by other HIV-associated yet less clear mechanisms. For example, people who are HIV positive are more likely to have high blood pressure and high cholesterol and develop heart disease, kidney disease, neurological issues and cancer. Professor Michael Bukrinsky at George Washington University in Washington, D.C. is working with scientists across the globe to elucidate the molecular mechanisms behind these comorbidities so that they can be targeted with therapies. In one line of research, Professor Bukrinsky and his collaborators explored why people with HIV are prone to excess cholesterol and atherosclerosis characterized by thick deposits of cholesterol, fat and calcium within an artery and thus risk of cardiovascular disease. They discovered that the virus inhibits a cholesterol transporter protein in macrophages, a type of white blood cell in the immune system. This transporter is called ATP binding cassette transporter A1, ABCA1, and when it is prevented from functioning normally, cholesterol cannot leave the macrophage cell. The inhibition of cholesterol efflux is a condition previously documented as causing high atherosclerosis risk. The team ascertained that in HIV-infected cells, this inhibition event was regulated by an HIV protein called NEF. Their exciting results revealed brand new mechanisms underlying how HIV infection of macrophages contributes to the comorbidity of atherosclerosis. Subsequent studies with collaborators revealed that NEF could be blocked and therefore potentially targeted with drugs to prevent HIV from impacting cholesterol homeostasis and thus reduce the risk of atherosclerosis. HIV-associated neurocognitive disorders HAND are very frequent even in HIV patients receiving treatment. HAND is often seen as behavioural changes, declining cognitive function and motor impairment, and Professor Bukrinsky studied the role of NEF in HAND. He concluded that the cholesterol homeostasis alterations arising from the presence of NEF in the brains of HIV-infected people may contribute to neurodegeneration and HAND. Understanding the underlying mechanisms of disease facilitates the development of therapies to target them, and Professor Bukrinsky's research suggests that treatments preventing NEF-induced alterations of cholesterol homeostasis and or normalizing lipid raft structure may reverse HAND. Work by Professor Bukrinsky has the potential to inform the development of targeted therapies to better manage the comorbidities that commonly arise with HIV and significantly improve patient outcomes and quality of life of sufferers.